Hey, I got something, something to say I'm just so sick of hearing everyone complain I know it's tough and I know there's pain But hitting bottom is the only way to change So I'll keep hustling, you keep struggling Bitch, I'm humbling, keep mumbling I'll keep doubling, you keep bluffing You've got nothing, I'll keep hustling <laughs> I've seen a lot of people who don't know what work is. I've seen a lot of people who don't know what thirst is. I've had a taste of evil and tried to cure the sickness. But I just keep my head down and focus on the facts. I'm setting down gravel while you just follow the path. I'll lead them into battle while you're just too scared to act. I'll leave the knife right in my back. So I'll keep hustling, you keep struggling. Bitch, I'm humbling, keep mumbling. I'll keep doubling, you keep bluffing. You've got nothing, I'll keep hustling. <laughs> Hey everybody, happy Sunday. How you doing, how you doing? Thanks for stopping by. Yes, 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 yes. Please like and share the stream. Rev is going to crash on your couch. We got a sleepy moon cub in the back. He's about to get laid down. Hope you guys are well. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me. Uh, we're only we're not gonna be on too too long but so last night I brought up that there was a grocery haul that Shani did on her Twitch and um we we didn't get to that last night but I watched it after the stream and we gotta cover it it's a good one she gets pretty ticked off um and it's just it's a good it's good short little rage i'm excited <laughs> hey jeff vader auntie green red rose yes they are they are and we will be peeking at grammy again too before and like i said we'll probably pick up a grammy video one one or two of them each time we go live they're a lot of fun i love grammy um I can't get enough of her. She's awesome. She hasn't posted in a while, which is kind of sad, but hopefully we can draw her out of the woodwork and get her posting again. 
But yeah, thank you all for being here. If you guys want to get a hold of me outside of YouTube, you can check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Locals, um, where there is a 24-hour live chat over on Locals. And once we get enough supporters over there, we're going to start doing some special um, live streams over there, things that I wouldn't necessarily be able to do on YouTube. So... I do have that platform as well. And then anything, if you guys would like to support the channel, um, support the Moon Cubs, um, links are usually posted periodically through the chat. And then I also have a link tree for any kind of link that I have available in the description as well. So let me go ahead and pull up this live stream from Shani's Twitch. So XX posted the recording of it with the chat. And then I have the, I have like a 45 minute clip because I sped her up, but I didn't get the chat with it. So we're going to look at XX's version and her link is in the description too. We also have people like, um, Adonis Ball, Original Owl, Hatman, Lean and Mean, Spike T, um, a bunch of awesome people listed below too, that we love over here and we support. Hey there, how you doing? Yoga pants, thank you for being here. Also, um, thank you for stopping in, Emma. If you guys are interested, um, I'll draw, I, I'm going to pull up a poll for everybody, but I have been considering doing a reaction to one of two of Adonis Paul's live streams or uh, documentaries, excuse me. So I was thinking of either doing the Mayo series or the Latuti series. And I thought it would be fun to do once a week until we get through either one of those. So you guys can let me know which one you would prefer to do, or if you guys would like to do both, it's up to you guys. Let me go ahead and pull this video up. I actually would like to do that. I haven't got to finish that one. So, um, yeah, I'd like to do that one too. I only, I think I've only seen like half of the first one and that was really good. Do the JRC three because he will never score old dumping Jimmy. (laughs) Yeah. I just think it would be fun to react and like, just kind of do a watch party to, some of his documentaries they're great and um they're a good way to introduce people to like like scooby or jrc3 um adrasdia they're just really good for that and they're a lot of fun okay so we're gonna start with this one um this rev one because it starts here and then we're gonna move into her twitch stream Hello. <laughs> Get off the internet. Thank you, I Patty. want to be off the internet, actually. Then why are you on? Team. Hi, Ethereal. Uh, we haven't had anything for lunch because we don't have any. We don't have any money or nothing. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, the soundtracks are fantastic. It didn't work? No, apparently it didn't. Yeah, it does sound like Kitty Cat. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, cool, Blue. Let's talk about me getting a gig. What's up? Yeah, I'll eat on stream. Sure. Yeah, they're closed today, ABC. I was just looking it up and tried to call, and it's, they're, they're closed today. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, I'll do, yeah, I'll do a mukbang, like, you know. It's right down the street, my nearest pizzeria. <laughs> yeah, be a pizza driver, right, Blue? I understand. Soon. Hi, Original Owl. Soon, why not just go? Get a job. Like, I don't understand what's stopping him I don't know. stopping you, her i mean other than sheer bang? laziness but she jesus shandy says she'd do a mukbang too if she got food andy's pizza is absolutely incredible it's my favorite pizza ever coin base <laughs> wallet okay yeah we're working on that miss danica quinn That's a good idea, Blue. Thank you. <laughs> I'm trying, man. It's mean. Oh, Lord Jesus. I want Gavin. No, I ain't stoned. Sorry, right, it's, it's been wonderful here, folks. Um, you hear her crying in you. the background. But, uh, if you do want to help out, my PayPal is at RevDude, okay? If you want to help out. I appreciate all you guys. PayPal is at RevDude. Judge Jenny, um, hey there. Yeah. I'm, I'm, well, I mean, you either got to get money to get food or oh. treat stream. I mean, you, I, I can't really I'm do nothing. So bad. I, can't hold it. I'm sorry. I can't do anything on this. Island. I'll look. I'll look baby. Yeah, you can pop the treat stream in. Okay. Her whining. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I, I can't. <laughs> okay. I can't do it on this. I know. That's stupid, you know. You know it's stupid because you can't do nothing with the like the chat. The ch you're, you can't do nothing with the chat. Yeah. Well, I I will do a mukbang myself if you give me the money to do it. I'll do a mukbang myself. You know what I mean. For some reason, I do anything to these people. Thank you, Blue. I've never done anything to these people. Oh my God. What did I do to them? Huh? What did I do to them? What did I do? Ugly. I'm just yeah. ugly. <laughs> God. People are just ugly and mean. Yeah, that's definitely true. And there's nothing you can do about it. What didn't you do exactly? It, she, do that's the thing, is she hasn't done anything. 
You're like, awful. I really can't do it. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Why is blue a mod? I have no idea. Hey, Angela. What do you mean you don't know? I remember when you made blue a mod. Yeah, I had no idea. You had a panel. I remember doing that. God bless. PayPal is at RevDude. Thank you very much. I can't do this no more. It's like so, the stress of it. The stress of it? Logna. All right. Logna. Logna. Okay. You guys. This starts out fantastic. She's talking with everybody. We're about to hear about Rev's hustling. I love this one's actually a pretty good one comparatively. The ones lately haven't been too eventful, but this one I had a good time with this one. Hope you guys like it too. <laughs> Silly old Shanny. <laughs> Do they ever stop? Uh, yeah, <laughs> don't think so. Okay. Ah, Balagna. Okay, so look, I think what I'm going to do, I don't know. It, this screen looks kind of small on my end. Maybe it's just me. Can you guys see her okay? Can you guys get the full effect of how gross she looks? How especially dirty she looks? And we just went over last night. How <laughs> Rev was really pushing for Shani to take that bath. <laughs> Look, I'm feeling I get to believe it. Yeah. Cause I'm falling in love with you. So like revs out hustling food. I wrote him a list. Don't be sorry, you're here now, Pikachu. The list Yay. contained some craft cheese, craft singles. <laughs> okay. Some bologna. Mm-hmm. Some Duke's mayo. Some some white bread. I, I told him get the cheapest of everything. Right get now, the right? cheapest of everything. Let's see how good he will do. She told him to get the cheapest of everything. She wants Bologna, Kraft Singles, Duke's Mayo, white bread. <laughs> some Pop Tarts because they're super freaking cheap. Pop Tarts. Um, some milk and some cereal. Milk and cereal. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm hungry. We're over here balling on a budget. We're hungry. And we need to be as cheap as we possibly can. So we need to get Kraft cheese. Right? Because that, that's the cheapest cheese. Kraft. We need Duke's mayo. Because Kroger mayo can't have that. It's got to be Duke's. Cheapest we can get, right? Oh my God, I'm hungry. Let's see how much they spend. I'm hungry and I want to go and get everything done in life. So I did that. And so the Pop-Tart brand, right Pop-Tarts. String yeah. cheese. I'm here at home. I can't even Oscar Mayer bologna? Yeah, I, I like see this and it's like <laughs> everything's like baggy and like falling off me. And I'm, oh, I, I miss my fluffiness. Is it normal for people when they lose weight to miss their fluffiness? Or is it just me? Hi, Kim. How are you? Girl, Angela, you're going to trip when you hear about how much they spent. What's up, Grease Bunny? On this food hall. The husband is back on an errand. Or not back yet. He should be. How am I? Surviving, dude. Surviving every little bit i can and i want to thank everyone who has, who does Hello, help beautiful. me survive because you guys are awesome because it's, it's hard out right now and i'm trying my best to do everything i can
I do not miss my fluffiness at all. So I stand in still losing weight. This isn't pop. This is water. Okay, so now we do have a two liter, but it's empty and water. it's now been filled with water. She's Be in a Mountain Dew. Yeah, because you already Shit. drank the Mountain Dew. <laughs> You don't get a Mountain Dew two liter without yeah, the Mountain Dew. Cheese. Yeah. It's water. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Like, I'm not kidding you. I'm losing my mind. Ah, I'm looking forward for the foods. I'm high as a cloud. Why did they accuse me of something I wish I was? <laughs> I hate that. Okay, so anytime you hear Shani and she's lying about something, that's how she'll do it. That's how she'll be like, well, I wish I was. And then laugh like a, I don't know, like a balloon losing air. Foods. How am I feeling? Not good. Not good. My boob hurts like fucking hell. Your boob hurts. Okay. She can. She just won't. Can I buy a Whole Foods gift card? We don't have a Whole Foods in our area. I wish we did. I love Whole Foods. No, nah, I keep it dry. Just going to be like that. That's just how it is. Oh, well, soon I won't have a boob, so whatever. <laughs> won't have to worry about no fucking hurting boob no more. So I wipe my nose and you automatically go to nose cancer? Like, what the fuck? Did you see the new Christmas story movie? No, I didn't. How is it? I don't think it's out yet. Uh. Stop with the moaning. See? Foods. This is like a large amount of fucking like material, man. Not she could pick that thing up and yeah, smack somebody in like the that. face with it. Gross. Oh, I'd love some groceries sent to my house. It's just like trying to find something that will do it. Oh, really? Do we have a new Girl, cancer diagnosis? Volume. Let's okay. see. Is that better? that better yeah walmart and kroger deliver yeah but i don't have a kroger in my area stop it we could try walmart we haven't looked into instacart yet but like amazon and and, and the that not available in our area so it's like fuck get with the time scranton i don't know i, I miss know, colorado yeah. i'll say that i this Colorado to death. Yeah, we got Wegmans, Chef Fondue. Will I move back to it? No, Barberry, we don't have a Discord and I would move back to Colorado. I do want groceries. I've never tried Wegmans at all. Like Jason's like, they have like great Chinese oh, no. food and their cakes are amazing and their pies are amazing because he used to eat there all the time with his grandpa. Hold on, I missed it. Material, man. Kroger deliver. Yeah, but I don't have a Kroger in my area. We could try Walmart. We haven't looked into Instacart yet. 
but like Amazon and, and, and the that not available in our area. So it's like, fuck, get with the time, Scranton. I don't know. I miss Colorado. I'll say that. I miss Colorado to death. Do you? Do you really? Yeah, we got Wegmans Chef Fondue. Will I move back to it? No, Barberry, we don't have a. Oh, no, not yet, Renee. I, I love it. I do want groceries. I've never tried Wegmans at all. Like Jason's like, they have like great Chinese food and their cakes are amazing and their pies are amazing because he used to eat there all the time with his grandpa. Yeah, I'm definitely in a safer environment. I don't know, Tad. Can you get a hold of me through my Instagram? <laughs> it's Shani Needs Love. And then we can talk there about that. We were very happy in Colorado. Oh, we're really? No, it's just it's, it's it's just really. You guys were so happy in Colorado. All that cat piss and shit in the bathrooms. Your boys being afraid to leave their bedroom. You guys screaming like maniacs at each other. You literally living in your piss on your bed. Making your room so dirty that you, like, literally trapped yourself in your room from adding more piles and piles of shit. Gross. That's happiness uh, to you? He just left. So he should be back soon. He just saw his receipt on my phone. What are my future plans? Well, I'm trying to grow my platform. I'm trying to pay certain bills off. I'm I definitely, I'm just like my health wise, I don't know how that's gonna go, you know? I don't know yet, but. Yes, Tracy, yes. I'm just gonna try to be as happy as I possibly can. I also told Jason that like, I'll be giving him my platform if I go, so. That's all I can do. Yeah, that litter box is absolutely animal abuse. But those are my future plans. They're not the biggest of plans. Longest or anything, three months but it's ever. All I got. I got nothing else. What were your plans again? I got nothing. Else, but those are my future. Girl, you can't sit here and tell me that you don't have diabetes. Look at those knuckles. Freaking bear paws. That's all I can do. I also told Jason that, like, I'll be giving him my platform if I go, so. Oh, my God. Stop it. That's all I can do. Hey, Freddie. How generous of you. This is zombies, Jenny. <laughs> but those are my future plans. They're not the biggest of plans or anything, but it's all I got. I got nothing else. <laughs> nothing else to give. What performance are, are you talking about, Ted? <laughs> Which time? <laughs> you know... Hi, Ted. <laughs> Thanks for that old weather guy. Mm. I always need help with my fucking problems. Let's just be honest, guys. I, I'm pretty fucking defeated. Oh, I feel defeated. 
Oh, yay. You're she changed what she was going to say. I'm sure many of you noticed it, too. But I'm sure she was going to get into this big sob story about her having breast cancer and Rev walked in the door. Yeah. I tried to get us a couple of sodas. That was a bridge too far. That was a bridge too far. Yeah. Now. This was exactly right. for like 38 bucks. We got a haul. $38 got for this shit. $38. Sorry, this pisses me off. Two round top enriched breads. All right. Oh, you got the s'mores fucking cereal. You found it. When you see the dupes, you're not going to be happy, but it's the only dupes they have. More cereal. The only dupes they have. Oh, my God. They did it. I guess we are going to be trying some Duke's Manny's Light. She's pissed. Everyone knows about the Dukes now. So my question was to She's myself. She's pissed. Did you guys hear her slam that down? <laughs> Who gets that mad about mayonnaise? I guess we are going to be trying some Dukes mayonnaise light. That's all I have. Doof. Whatever. Everyone knows about the Dukes now. So my question was to myself, is Kraft Normal better than Dukes Light? And I said, no, Dukes is still going to be superior light. So we'll see. I got to try. That's all they have, dude. I know. I'm going to try this. I'm going to see how it is. Let's have mayonnaise sandwiches. Ew. It's actually not bad. It's going to be superior light, so we'll see. I got to try That's all they have, dude. I know. I'm going to try this. I'm going to see how it is. Let's have mayonnaise sandwiches. Gross. It's actually not bad. Okay. It's still Duke's. It's not full Duke's, oh, but yay, it's not toasty. bad. Okay. Actually, it's better than Hellman's. I have no problem with that. That ain't bad. At all. You that is to... not bad. No. Mm -mm. We got the s'mores Pop-Tarts. Because they're always cheap. Pop-Tarts are fucking Pop -tart cheap. Pop-Tart brand. Pop-Tart brand Pop-Tarts. Like, she could have got a four-pack of Pop-Tarts. They didn't need to get the 12 box, okay? They could have got this four-pack of Pop-Tarts for a dollar, maybe a dollar fifty. But she needed that brand name, right? Same with the Kraft Singles, the Oscar Mayer Bologna, the Duke's Mayonnaise. And then we got two Bolognas. Oh, Oscar Mayer has a way with Bologna. And then some Kraft Singles. I told you that's what I wanted. Some more cereal. Here. And then some small, some some beautiful whole milk. Because if you've Look never had the cereal with whole milk, what are you fucking doing with your life? She's mm -hmm. hugging milk. I know watermelon. You want to have cereal first? No. No. I want a sandwich. I'm going to have both cereal. Okay. Yeah. It's Enjoy not cheap. Cereal. Thank you. Not at Thank all. You. You're amazing, though. Garbage. And we'll be gone by, well, I'm sure, today. You're still waiting for the Jason emotes? Yeah, I, we got to make those. He's He's got his picture somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. Somewhere. Someplace, some my iPhone's gone, so good luck. I, I don't know. Listen to what she I says. Wait for it, Johnny. Wait for it, guys. It's my favorite. What spoon? What the hell? Wrong. You forgot your spoons? Yeah, what the hell? You forgot your spoons. Spoon. Your spoons. Oh my god. I've been craving this for like several days now. I'm doing a big for some reason. Tell me about it, Shanny. Tell and me. I wanted to get it on Thanksgiving, but the store was closed and I was sad. Yeah. It was close, close. Completely. All those. I know. Oh. oh, they got made the chart to make the bags better in this shit. Oh, oh yeah. That's oh. the best cereal. This is the best cereal. Very little substance in those groceries. Yeah, well, you know what? You can't get much. This is thirty-eight dollars. I know. Substance? What the fuck do you want? <laughs> yeah, who craves bologna? I'm supposed to make this great fucking amazing food. Yes, you could. I don't care. I know you don't. You don't give a shit. It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. I used to have to survive on this when I was a child. Survive. It's probably why I'm craving it because it's like your survival food. It's my survival, survival food. Survival yeah. food, y'all. <laughs> survival food. Bologna sandwiches, cereal, and Pop Tarts. This is survival food.
because when the apocalypse hits, that's what you need in your backpack. When you got to pick up and go, you got to bring the whole milk, bologna, and Pop-Tarts. And don't forget the Duke's Mayo. Because you're screwed if you forget the Duke's Mayo. Mm. You know what? Stop giving me a fucking hard time over what I fucking get. You could have you gotten so much more. Oh my god. You guys are really being fucking dicks. Then don't show it off. Well, don't be a fucking dick. I can show it off if I want to. Don't be a fucking dick. Have some self-control. Mm. Have some self control. Mm. You just had Rev go and pick up Oscar Mayer bologna for survival this food. Is so good. Mm -hmm. What does Rev get to eat? One bowl of cereal. Mm -hmm. And you can see she's a little frustrated well, that he's eating it's 5 it. 5 a bag. Yeah. 5 55 mm. for a bag of cereal. All right. Mm. Oh. Yeah, if you go on my Instagram, you can private message me. Fucking $6. Barberries is high. Party bots. Moofing, kind of, sort of, yeah. We're like, I'm hungry and I needed something to eat. Oh, God, I can't wait for her. You <laughs> Thank you. I feel so much better now. Good. Glad you mm, feel better. Mm. He gets the wrappers. Mm. It's a Thanksgiving now. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm. Yes, chug the sugar water. Mm. Mm. Her moaning. Yeah, I, like I hate it. Green. That cat is obsessed with fucking milk. She loves green. Oh, who'd you get? It's like I smelled the milk. I need it. Let me see. Mm. Oh, so right, actually. Oh, it's nice. Did you block them or just delete it? Judge feed Jenny, it was an accident. Let's try to get that fixed. Not about feeding him. It's about him wanting milk. I think it was just deleted. <laughs> what a boy. He loves cream. He freaking loves milk and he sniffs it when it comes around. I know. Oh, he thank you, boy. Freddy. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Gavin, say hi. he's like, no. I want to smell. I'm sniffing everything because he's like, oh my god. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's like, no milk, no, no milk, no. Gavin, you have food, boy. Look, you have cat foods. This is people food. That good sugar yeah. water. Like, it sounds like cat food, but it's people food. He has food in his dish, right? Yes, he does. Okay, he's just being a boy. Gavin! Like, have I ever tried dates? I love dates. Oh, I, oh. I like figs better, though. I don't. I like dates. Yeah, dates are good. Oh. She's Ugh. still moaning. Ew. I feel so much better. Thank you. Nope. No cat food. Of course not. I needed that. Hardcore. Mm -hmm. Good to see you. And you needed the cereal, it looks like. Yeah. Definitely. Mitchell dates. Oh, God, yes. Yum. Yes, go on, Gavin. Claw her eyes out. I smell the trolls in the chat, and I'm not fucking dealing with their stupid fucking asses anymore. Because all they do is fucking invalidate. Because they're pieces of shit. Anyway. Sorry. My God, you're really going to criticize someone from getting some bologna and goddamn cheese and bread? Fuck you. Like, seriously. No, no. Fuck you. No, no. Fuck you. Yeah, that's what you wanted. Yeah, all over her face. 
her hair and like, like Jesus Christ, she just cut crazy. her hair because to her- criticize someone for getting bologna and cheese. It, it, it's fucking insane. I swear you people are so fucking unhinged and you're so fucking unhinged. You want other people to feel unhinged so you can feel better about your stupid lives. How about stop criticizing people? Maybe you'd feel a little bit better about yourself if you weren't such an asshole. I keep saying this, but I don't get listened to about it. Jesus. Not. Yeah, bologna's nasty. Like, oh. never in my life have I seen so much criticism because someone got a bologna and cheese. You could have gotten like, uh, well, like you should have got some... rice and beans. No, but yes. they did that. Listen, they did that to Amber. Yeah, okay. Turkey sandwich or something. Yeah, they did do that. It's insane. Tell me about them rice and beans. <laughs> I'm done. Like you people are fucking insane and dumb as fuck. <laughs> No, I've never had a date sandwich, but that sounds delicious. Yum. Maybe a date and peanut butter sandwich. Oh, oh yeah. That sounds good. Yeah, someone did help us out. And then I got fucking criticized for getting bologna instead of rice and fucking beans. Like, how the fuck am I going to cook rice and fucking beans? And I'm fucking hungry as fuck. Do you know how long it takes to cook fucking rice and beans? Do you know how long? You're insane. Do you realize how long it takes she is in survival mode. She couldn't wait another second. You people are sick. <laughs> uh. It's insane. It's insane. Give her a break, man. She was starving. Why do you keep coming in my chat and disrupting it? Fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, it doesn't take long enough. I've never seen such insane fucking psychos in my entire fucking life. I know. You want to keep this or do you want me to put this out? Yes, I want to keep it. Want to keep it. I wanted the cereal too, but I'll wait. It's okay. okay. I'm, I'm not done eating. I'm hungry. And if you're going to criticize me for having two sandwiches, oh, fucking well. I don't fucking care. I haven't had anything to eat today. Your rice and beans would be done by now, Shani. Fucking insane. And you wouldn't feel the need for a second sam. Well, the I'll stop aren't myself there. happens to them. God doesn't forget. Yeah, I know. Oh, no. He got a bowl of cereal that he got the side eye for having. Make me feel bad over everything I fucking do. Everything I do, I have to feel bad for. Like, I'm doing something wrong. The beginning of this stream, you were gloating about what you did today. Like, you <laughs> you were gloating about writing a list for Rev to go to the store for you. You said that that man hustled food for you. No, you guys got a donation and you squandered that money on bullshit. And people called you out on it. You're not, you're not, you're not, you're not doing it good enough. Fuck you. I'm so sick of people constantly fucking criticizing me and telling me I'm not doing it good enough. I don't care if I'm not doing it in your fucking perfect ideal. Why don't you go watch someone who's fucking perfect and leave me the fuck alone? Instead of telling me I'm not perfect because I don't do things the way you would fucking do it. I don't fucking care. You fucking, ugh, I hate people. Like, Judgment Day is going to be horrible for them. Because God meets you at... Instead of telling me I'm not perfect because I don't do things the way you would fucking do it. I don't fucking care. You fucking... Ugh. I hate people. Like, Judgment Day is going to be horrible for them. Because God She's... meets you at your own judgment. <laughs> She's so pissed. Ideal. Yep. Yes, it's light dukes, actually. I never had it before, but it's actually really good. 
Dukes. Hey, it's not a catastrophe. Good. No. They're sold out of Dukes. Except it's only one. 50 calories. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah, she said that she lost so much weight. Look how baggy my sweatshirt is. Blah, blah, blah. No, you haven't washed that thing in seven months. That's why it looks all dingy and worn down. And again, I am convinced wholeheartedly you certainly do have diabetes. But even more so now with them knuckles. Check it out. That's not makeup on her knuckles. She's mm -hmm. huge. Yes, please like the stream. If Rev can beat me at Street Fighter, I'll buy you a pheasant underglass pizza. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. That's cool. Is it? Yeah. <clears throat> pheasant underglass. Mm. 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 Yeah. Now you're sure. going to give me a hard time if I wash my hands or not. No. I didn't wash my hands. I was so fucking hungry. I was like, fuck that. I'm hungry. Yeah, well, she just got done scratching her yeasty boob. <laughs> like, she just got done scratching her yeasty boob and is taking her snotty tissue and what rubbing her nose with it. And then Rev comes in with the food and she makes sure to handle every bit of food with it that everybody else has touched at the store and then slathers that disgusting mayo on her sandwich. And she's like, yep, mm, flavor. I know, and so nasty. You and are. And disgusting. Shame me some more. Mm. <clears throat> sick. You people are Man, sick. Yeah, I'm in a bitchy ass mood today. I'll be honest. I tried to be in a good mood. I'm glad I could help. <laughs> I'm not allowed. I'm not allowed. I have to suffer for the rest of my life because people on the internet don't like me. Thank you, Hardcore. I appreciate it. Lovely. Thank mm. you so much. I don't know if it picked up the stream labs or not. Did anyone get her the $30 burger? <sighs> Duke's mayo mm. smells like vinegar. Have a fucking pee. Mm. Don't worry, I'll wash my hands after I take a piss. Random fuckery, thank you for being a member for two months. You want to talk to them? They're going insane. I was thinking about bologna sandwiching it. Get your bologna sandwich on. <laughs> okay. Fucking mayonnaise. Yeah, Grampy Lobster said it best, and that's why that is always going to stay on my intro. Um, Grampy Lobster said it best, in my opinion. You know, you get these people who want to share their whole lives with people on the internet and then cry when anybody has anything to say about it. It's fantastic. <laughs> A Revy mukbang with mayonnaise. Mayonnaise sandwich. Mm. Fried bologna sandwich? That's coming. I don't got any onions, though. That's what oh I said, God. Carrie. That food will be fried gone onion. by tonight. No. It has to be a raw onion on the fried bologna. Raw. Yes. Raw. Oh, you're eating a raw onion. Raw. <laughs> Cover your mouth, Shanny. You're a grown ass woman, oy. not a toddler. Baloney, oi. Hey, Blondie. Mm. 
Oh, yay. I'm glad you're having a good time. Oh, pretty much everybody. Still knows. groaning. Uh, God. Yeah, but I can't fucking walk anymore, dude. This sucks. Oh. I just like. Thank you, Angela. Waddle. Like a fucking penguin or something. Okay. Like a penguin. I'm starting to feel better. When am I eating some cereal? Yeah, I'll get three. Thank you. Yep. Penguins are cute. Huh. Yeah, they are. They are cute. Oh, my Jesus, God. Girl, what did you do? The fuck did you do? Oh, my Jesus, God. <coughs> yeah, they are. The struggle are breathing. Cute. Oh, my Jesus, God. What did you do? I'll recover, guys. She's spraying herself. I'll recover. With something. Oh. Maybe it's spray on butter. Uh. How am I out of breath oh, Angela. from walking to the bathroom? Have I not been... Am I in some strange fucking world where I've been telling you what's been going on with me and, 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 and you don't fucking listen? Angela, thank you. I appreciate that. I don't... Are you guys able to hear the Streamlabs? I don't know if it's playing or not. Hold on. Let me see if I can get it to play. No, you're not able. Okay, let me see if I can get it going. Boop. Share. There is no father because neither one of the men were good enough. They were just. Uh, Thank you, Yellow Heart no Angela Yellow Heart, for tipping $20. Lots of love, sis. Heart. Yeah. Thank you, Angela. Like, I, I literally tell you what's wrong with me. And, 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 and you decide not to fucking listen. You decide not to listen. Why won't you tell people Shanny's very fucking sick before they get it in their fucking heads that maybe Shanny's very sick? Why won't you and people just believe her bullshit like that and just acknowledge she's very sick instead of being a fucking insensitive, untactful fucking prick about it? How about maybe accept reality? I have to. Jesus, it's not that hard to get. It really isn't that hard to get. But it's like, you guys, you want to keep up this fucking scenario, this fucking bullshit, this, this fucking agenda you have. You want to keep up this fucking bullshit, this fake fucking story about who I am. You want to keep it up and it's falling fucking apart because I'm really fucking sick. Like, do you ever think how bad you guys are going to look when, when you start seeing me go involved? When what would Jesus do, When you start seeing me go Channing? through one surgery to another? Do you ever think about when maybe you see how me Jesus pass feels away? about all You know how lives? bad you guys are going to look like you literally fucking tortured and invalidated a woman who was really fucking sick and was trying to tell you? What would Jesus do? Oh, thank you, Jesus Christ. Woo. I'm sorry I'm annoyed by this. It, 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 it's just like... 
it seems like common sense is like dying in people or either 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 their common sense is completely fucking dead or they are purposely and willingly doing this which really what, i'd rather be fucking stupid not and not know what i'm doing bullshit? and and just admit to being ignorant How than willingly they? fucking torturing someone who's sick cuz when you're finally fucking found out cuz cuz you are narcissists who like to do this to me you are malignant narcissists who like to do this to me because normal people aren't going to act like this. <clears throat> when you're finally found out over the bullshit you've done to people, you're destroyed forever. You think I look bad? Think of how you're going to look. You're going to look way worse than I ever have. And that's with a conjoined force of thousands of people fucking shitting on my night. name. This was last night, raccoon. But I don't need a thousand people to shit on your name because you show what kind of piece of shit you are every goddamn day to me. Period. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, we can't even really be sure about the osteo, right? But probably osteo because of how much she weighs. And that's really it. Her ailment is being overweight and lazy. Selfish. Lack of movement. That's what the doctors call it. going through a lot and I'm, okay like I, no to the nice people you ain't upsetting me i'm i'm upset okay like i said don't take what i say too seriously or jar okay i'm going through a lot and i don't yeah, want that's you guys what i to said it was bad. you know but these assholes i'm i'm just done with them you know it's just non-stop bombardment fibromyalgia <laughs> I'm not having fucking withdrawals, you stupid fuck. Holy shit. We get you, Shani. Sometimes I just want to snap. I was attacked today. I feel you. I know, right? That's true, Candles. Ugh. Because uh. how many times do you have to answer the fucking question? Zonfor? <laughs> How many times do you have to answer the same fucking question because people haven't heard the answer they want to? No, because we like hearing all the different variations that you try to tell people. That's fun. I've been answering these questions for months. How many times do you hear me say, when I go to the doctors, my doctors, my doctors? How many times do you hear me say that? And then you guys are so dumb. You're like, did you go to the doctors? I don't need to show a diagnosis from a doc. I have a right to privacy, you psycho. Then stop getting online and telling everybody all your bullshit lies. <laughs> Go away. Simple. Psycho. Holy shit. Okay, so I'll Those tell you. <laughs> I'll pull it up too if you want. But yesterday, someone in the chat, because Rev was upset talking about this, and we couldn't figure out if it was because he really thinks that Shani and her abundance of medical knowledge looked at Google and said, yep, that's breast cancer. I've got it. Look, you see this rash right here? That's breast cancer. She tells that to Rev. And then, you know, Rev's upset because he lost his mom to cancer. So she's taking advantage of that shit. So we're trying to figure out, is he upset because of that? Or is he upset because he doesn't want to jump online and lie to people anymore for her bullshit? Okay. But somebody in the chat suggested, hey, Shani would feel a lot better if she would take a shower. And then <laughs> and like for a good 10 minutes after he was really pushing. Yeah. A bath is a really good idea. Shower. Yeah. Shower really does make you feel so much better. <laughs> it's fantastic. I loved it. 
I'll show you guys in a minute. Where's your diagnosis? Well, did you go to the doctor? What did the doctor say? None of your goddamn business. I'll tell you what I want to fucking tell you. Tell me, Rev. No, Shani didn't go to the ER today, obviously. Boom! It was... Boom! We knew she didn't go, but I love it when Rev does that. No. No, she didn't go to the hospital. <laughs> nope. Google told us. It's a very good possibility today would be the day because she felt so bad yesterday. But no, I didn't yet. go. Not yet. I didn't want to fucking go. I'm too angry to fucking go. I'm too angry to go and figure out if I have breast cancer, you idiots. Of course I do. Google said so. What's wrong with you people? If you imagine me around a fucking doctor, I'd fucking blow their fucking head off and get kicked out of the fucking the ER or get put in handcuffs. I don't know which one. No, no, no. She's so angry that she would punch her doctor. <laughs> she would blow his head off. Okay. Stop coming on my channel. I do not need to keep banning you. You psycho. Oh, yeah. She's absolutely lying. Holy fuck. These people are nuts. They caught me in a lie. Oh, God. <laughs> this pisses me off. <laughs> Which character would I be on in Street Fighter? Yeah, I'll be Chun Ling. I'll use my big giant thighs to freaking entrap them in a net. Fucking yuck. <laughs> you keep your dirty, nasty thighs away from everybody. How about we stay over here and you stay over there? Okay? Cool. Cool. Mm -hmm. I don't want nothing to do with your dirty, nasty nothings. Legs, fingers, none of it. I know. You got to be patient zero for that. something. That is good. It's very good. Right? I'm just so fucking sick of always having to be interrogated over my goddamn life. Can I say anything without 20 goddamn <gasps> questions? Shamu needs some shampoo. It's so fucking rude. <laughs> beyond rude someone call hazmat <laughs> the smothering tactic is that what it is smothering me with Ugh. bullshit i'm not shouting out people that donated to me i don't like doing that i refuse to do that no it looks like someone's looking for information. g man yeah you think i'm was dumb enough you? to fucking answer that shit g man was that you None of your business who donates to me or not and what they donate. None of your fucking business. Like, holy shit. Like, I, I really wonder if, like, their family members ever taught them tact or what's a good question from a bad question. <laughs> to ask people like how old are these people asking these fucking questions she's about to i love it yeah they might be <clears throat> but at the same time they might not be they might be like scam artists looking for any bit of information they can to try to fucking scam me more out of shit i don't know how they do that i don't know either but i really don't fucking care i ain't gonna answer fucking like questions like that why should i why should i have to answer for myself first of all to a bunch of lamos on the internet who, who can't do anything better with their fucking life Well, good. You don't have to be berated by me. It's that fucking easy. Later. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Bill O'Reilly's like, shut it down. It's over. I'm done. I'm done. Oh, fuck this. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Like, I'm really glad that I'm gonna be dying soon. You bitch. I'm done. Fuck this. I'm done. I'm done. Like, I'm really glad that I'm gonna be dying soon. Like, I'm really fucking glad about that. Because I don't have to deal with this shit anymore. That's the best thing about fucking dying, is you don't have to deal with You those bitch. Assholes. What about your kids, Shani? 
That's a no. stupid question. You don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah, it was. Shanny, you need Kratom? No, I don't. Shanny, you need Kratom? I need people <laughs> to stop being jerks to me. and Fighting the hands that feed you. The gameplay looks good, but I don't like the look of it. Um... I feel you on the cost of groceries. I got one pound of beef, cabbage, peppers, and onions for $30. Where are you getting your groceries from? Treat me like I'm a person. They're babies. <laughs> Why would she need Kratom? Because she's in pain. Thank you, Fancy Jane. I, ex I like the supportive people. <laughs> I'm feeling like shit. I really am That's feeling bad. like shit. Breaking news, Shani has bed bugs. <laughs> oh, no. Like, please, give me a break. I feel blessed to have had some food. I feel blessed over that, too. <clears throat> really. How much longer does this bullshit have to keep going with me? Like, will you guys ever stop with your bullshit? Ever. Ever. And you keep moving the goalposts. If you do this, then we'll stop. And I, I, I do what you tell me to do, and, and you don't stop. And then, oh, well, if you do this, then we'll stop. No. Girl, since when? You sit on your ass. You've been sitting on your ass for two years straight. Even when you had to move your ass over to fucking Pennsylvania, you sat on your ass for that too. <laughs> what are you talking about? Do what? You couldn't even put in the effort to keep your boys. You needed Rev to stay with you so you could continue sitting on your ass. <laughs> I just keep doing everything they ask me to do and they won't leave me alone. Oh, fuck it. I'm done being fucking controlled like that. I, I want to be me. Clown. Why can't I be me? Bacon grease. <laughs> like, seriously, why can't I be me? All right, Taz, I'll look. See you later, lovely Emma. You guys have a good night. Like, my God. I need, I, I, I don't know how to handle this. I don't know how to handle it. I really don't. I don't know how to handle that type of hate when it's like, I, I just, just telling people I'm not doing good. Like, I don't even have the energy to for it anymore. I don't. I don't have the energy for it anymore. I need, I like, I really do, like, seriously, for all the people out there, I really need support at this time. I really do, because I'm, I'm going through a hard time. And Jason's going through a hard time. It's not easy seeing your fucking wife die in front of you. Especially a very similar way how his mom died. Yeah, it's gotta be like deja vu. Yeah. Like, please. Just at least, like, you don't have to like me. But at least just be fucking human toward me.
It's okay, though. Jesus said, forgive them. They know not what they do. And you really don't. And it, it's so sad. It's like, <laughs> I see it. You know, fucking bitch. It breaks your heart. I need to go. I'm too upset. I can't do this. I love you guys. I need, I need to. I need oh, to. that's such a conflicting I thing to say. I need this shit. <laughs> Never seen anyone act like him. All right, so the next one that I have here is Shani, and um, well, it's her deleted Instagram after the accusation against Rev, or of the accusation against Rev. He takes it all wrong and starts yelling. I'm sick of not being able to have a relationship with my sons fully because he doesn't really allow us to communicate. He kind of keeps me isolated a lot of the time. He tells my sons to leave the room a lot. And um, I don't know what I'm going to do with my life. Um, because I got no family. I really don't have any friends. And it's just me and my sons. That's all. Just me and my sons. And like, really scared and I feel alone I feel like a fool I'm in my house I'm safe and Jason's in jail and um I hope I can make it through I can't drive my legs won't work I can't really walk either how do I get groceries? How do I take care of my sons when I can't move? When I can't walk? When oh, I can't well. function? <laughs> Tears. <laughs> Tears. I, I feel like a fool. You are a fool. That I let this relationship go on for so long. Go on for so long. Because to be honest, he's been so blithe, and it was nothing but him threatening me when he got really drunk to be hit over the head with a baseball bat, and I stayed with him because he kept saying, I'm sorry, give me another chance, I'll change, and he never did. It just got worse. I swear, she pulls this shit from Lifetime movies. Mad. She has to pull this shit from Lifetime movies. All these days. He said he would I, change. I, better. I know. <laughs> well, what is better? Getting in another relationship with someone who's just going to end up hurting me again. Hurting me again. I don't want a relationship with anyone. That it, it's, it's like from the farthest of my mind thinking of having someone else. Being with someone else. Because I don't want to be hurt again. I want to be valued as a person. I want to be loved as a woman and, and treated respectfully. As a woman, most importantly, I want my sons to be respected and, and treated like they should be, like they should be, with love, compassion. Don't and you empathy. think you should have taught them that? Fear of them blowing up at me or ostracizing me or making me feel bad for trying to make a good decision in life, trying to be happy. I, I'm, I'm tired of working so hard to make money to, to support my family while this man does nothing but complain about his she mental health and does so nothing hard. to help us. Does nothing to help us. I made it. I made the money. I've been supporting us. And I am a fool and I feel like a fraud. I feel like a phony because I tell women to be strong, to not get into abusive relationships, to get out. And here I am in wood. Because I didn't want, I didn't want, I didn't want people to know that I was in one, but I also didn't want women to get in one at the same time. I, and there's the times on, on, and then he, he does this, I'm sorry, I'm gonna change. Please just wait until I get into therapy. 
and he never does go into therapy. He never does get better. And I'm stuck there, waiting to be respected, waiting to feel love. I don't have anyone. It's just me and my boys. So, like, I'm scared. scared, scared. I know Daniel. I know he won't. I know he won't change. I and then he lies to the cops and then I get in trouble. But not wow. this time. <clears throat> not this time. Not this time. Don't Thank know. You. Thank you, Daniel. She's had enough not of his time. shit. She is done. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done listening to his pity party. I lost my mom and dad. So did I. Except you lost your parents years ago. I lost my parents just a couple months ago. I don't abuse people because I lost my parents. Yes, you do. I don't know why your comment was removed. I didn't remove your comment, sir. Never again. Just never again will I let another human being put me down like that. Never again. I don't want to keep doing this for the rest of my life. I don't want to keep waiting on a man who doesn't help me. Help me. Who. Who. He's only with me because he pities me. I don't need lies. I don't need lies. I'm done being embarrassed by him. I'm, I'm done letting his racist ideology define me. I'm done being called the C word. Not the C word. Oh no. I'm done being called a whore and a slut. I don't want to be called that. I'm just done with it. I'm just done with it. I'm just done. Done. You know, I, I'm done seeing him. And then under the same breath, he says he doesn't like it. He doesn't, he, 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 he doesn't agree with it. He'll never, he doesn't look at it, even though he looks at it and lies to me like I'm stupid. Yes, it is, Rev. I'm done with how he treats my kids. How he's gotten me to compromise who I am as a person made me say things and do things that was totally opposite of my character. Yeah, we've all seen it. I feel like such a fucking idiot. And I feel like such a disappointment to my sons. When we were in our fight, I was like, you've already broken me. What more do you want from me? I'm already broken. I'm already sad. I'm miserable most of the time. I felt like I couldn't be myself. I felt like I couldn't say how I feel. Such a bullshit. Because I have a lot of liberal views and he has a lot of conservative views. And then I get called stupid. <laughs> For just having empathy for people. I get called not an American because I don't like Trump. That Trump was the greatest thing that ever happened in this country. No, Shut it wasn't. Up. He caused Stop nothing lying. but division. Stop it. You'll say whatever is popular at the time. Whoever's in your chat. My oldest, my my oldest son. He said, Mom, you can't take him back anymore. You can't keep letting him do this to you. You know, it's like, I'm so sick 
of putting all of me into something. And I don't get the same energy in return. Oh, well. I had to dip out of an eight-year-old relationship. We have a son together, but it was for the best. Stand up out the gas. But you must understand, like, this is my own personal opinion about Trump. He gassed protesters. And, and there's the news said he didn't. But I was, like, watching a live stream, several live streams at once when that happened. I don't support someone who attacks protesters when we should have freedom of speech. He's not a good president. Neither is Biden. I, I say fuck both parties. Because they don't give a fuck about us. Like, when you start with the values of others and, and totally devalue a person because of your own personal belief or opinion, you're an awful person. And I, I'm so, like, seriously, I'm so, so sick of discord. I'm so sick of fighting. I'm so sick of not being allowed to have fucking peace in my life. If I have to be alone to establish some form of peace in my life, I will be alone. If I have to be alone with my son so they can have peace, so they don't have to worry about someone hurting them, I'll do it too. I'm tired of, in a lot of ways, I normalize abuse in my head. I normalize it. Because I want to help people out of it. Okay, I can't listen to her whine anymore. What up, guys? <clears throat> All right. What up? What up? Shannon is the type of person who was raised on Disney princesses. People be and big mad at Moon. Shannon right now. Yep. Big mad. And you know what? I don't care. Because I'm eating lasagna. Things were said that needed to be said. And the liars right now are big mad that they got caught in lying about me and saying I'm some abusive person when I'm not. Oh, no, you're not? I'm big, big mad. I don't care. Girl. Big, big mad. I don't care. Hi, who that? How you doing, girl? Shani, you remember food? <laughs> some people are angry at me right now. They don't like being called out in their lies. Did I make? Oh, I got today? you. I'll show no, you. No, I though. did not. My husband made me food, and I ate that instead. You got four hours of work left. You can do it. It's only four hours. Usually, the last hours are like the quicker part of it, of your job. Put that back on the Christmas tree, you fool. <laughs> okay, I, no, I'm gonna do that tomorrow. The chicken and dumplings. Today, man, this is up ships and night. How you doing? Yeah, I'm going to stream tomorrow. Don't worry about that. I'll stream tomorrow for you guys, bros. You know? Like, these people are bringing up old things that really doesn't really matter. Like, they're like, look at how awful that woman is. Talking about her kids like they're kids. How dare she? Yeah, isn't it, Joseph? Isn't it? And then my son comes out. And then they're calling him a liar. And they're saying he's being abusive. Okay, I thought you were concerned about my child. And now when, when he says there is no concern, he turns out to be a liar because it doesn't fit your narrative because that would have to mean you have to apologize to me as, an, as a sincere adult and, and actually own up to the fact that you were lying about someone and drumming stuff up. I mean, come on now. Come on now. I just made, I just made stupid on you. I just... It wasn't me. It was my, my brilliant Ew. son, man. Don't make anything on anyone. Keep your hands to yourself, Shani. Now you go pick out a 14-year-old and tell the 14-year-old he's lying to save your own asses instead no. of doing the right thing and apologizing. I'm sorry I accuse you of all these things that aren't true. Stop having your kids stick up for you. Hey, Randolph, how about you mind your fucking business about my past, you psychopath? You are playing 4D chess. That's right. That's right. And, and, and th they want to say that I'm exploiting my son. I'm exploiting my son, really? You guys have been for years talking about my children. 
and saying I was abusing my children when I wasn't. My son finally comes out and says oh. something, and he's the liar. He's the liar, right? Right? People who are I don't even know in real life. People who've never been involved in my life at all. Boy, Just people who are age. random internet making assumptions into truth and throwing it back at legal authorities like it is truth. And then the legal authorities check it out and realize you're full of shit. Thank you, Rixilla. You know, tip, by the way. I have a job, idiot. Who's Don't Randolph? tell me what to do. Get offline. Why? Because Vance. I'm exposing you as liars. For the longest time, I said nothing. Said nothing. And all you did was build up one lie about me after another lie about me or another lie about me. You keep saying all these lies about me. I'm finally speaking up. Oh, no. You need to shut up. You need to get off the internet. You sound like you're too triggered. Maybe you should take an internet break. Wink, wink. No, that's that's your code word of, Shannon, please shut up. You're making us look really bad in front of our audience because we're going to get caught in being liars. No, I ain't shutting up. I ain't shutting up. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. See? See? Uh, I'm not going to be continued to be lied to and lied about. Okay. If, if you guys can keep your content of constantly lying about me, I can certainly keep my content up of me telling the truth about you lying about me. Okay, you get that? You get that? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Are, are, are you looking bad in your audience right now? Are you looking like a fool and you're feeling bad that your little ego is bad? Maybe you should go and do the right thing and give me a proper apology over the years of mental, physical, emotional, spiritual physical? abuse. Maybe that, man. Maybe that. I think you take pretty good care of your boys. I know that you're pretty damn good, hon. Thank you, Meg. Thank you. What you got now? You got nothing. My kids say your mom's not abusive. Of course your kids say that. What are you going to do now? Your kids what? don't know anything else. You don't let them leave the fucking house. You treated them like dog shit. That's why you don't have them. That's why CPS was called on you and they were taken from you, what, five times? That's not because you're a good mother. What are you going to do now? What proof you got now? What you got now? You got, you got, you got my child saying that you've, you've done nothing but cause CPS to come in their lives and abuse them. What are you going to do now, man? What are you going to do now? All you got is to pick on my, pick on how I look. That's all you got. Oh, you fat. You sit in a chair. Oh, wow. You sit in a chair too. I bet you're sitting right now. Why can't I sit and you can? Because you cook while you're <laughs> sitting, you weirdo. Right? Thank you, Joseph. He is a very mature and respectful person. He's amazing. All you do is sit down. <laughs> he's amazing. But these people try to come on and saying that he's being abused, and then they're say they're coming around and, and that he finally saying I'm not abused, and then they're coming around and saying he's a liar. You give no proof that I'm abusive, but yet you say I abused. He's saying I'm not. Who, who do you think what a smart, intelligent, rational adult, whose word are they going to take? The child who said my mom doesn't do this stuff? You guys need to stop. You're stupid. You keep calling. See okay, I have a confession to make, Mr. United. I wore something like that in my hair up until I was 17 years old, but I was a cheerleader. So we were told we had to. So... <laughs> EPS I wasn't on us for no you know, reason. approaching 40. Well, who are they going to believe? You guys? Hair. No, they're not going to believe you guys. They're going to believe the 14 year old because he's tired of this bullshit. Yeah, my kids shouldn't be exposed to this shit, but you fuckers keep calling CPS and calling the police over your. I'm really worried about Shannon. You're not worried about me and my sons. You just want to make trouble in my fucking life because you're a piece of shit. You think I'm just going to be silent and let you continue to abuse me and my family? You think I'm going to be silent about it? Oh, I'm going to flag your channel down. You think I'm afraid of that? I, all, I'm, all I'm going to do is be like, YouTube, look what I'm saying. These people are abusing me and they're going to put my freaking shit back up. What they have been? I still will say it does look ridiculous. Cheerleader or not, it's still ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, how many... How many I mean, how long do you think it's going to, how many phone calls do you think you're going to keep false reporting on six. me and, and, and my family? How many, how many times do you think that's going to happen before you finally get caught and they finally put Five you in six. jail for a false report for 20 years? How long do you think, how, how many times do you think, oh, I'm just a concerned individual. I saw this woman and she was acting totally erratic on her YouTube and, and I'm really afraid of the children. The children. Just think about the children. Oh my God, she's making YouTube videos. I need to... <laughs> face <laughs> okay so i need to appreciate that bullshit one more time just it's fantastic coming from this piece of shit 
who in jail for a false report for 20 years. How long do you think, how, how many times do you think, oh, I'm just a concerned individual. I saw this woman and she was acting totally erratic on her YouTube and, and I'm really afraid of the children. The children, just think about the children. Oh my God, she's making YouTube videos. You fucking idiots. You're dumb. You're dumb. This is and why she's so defensive because, because she knows she was so treating her children. Even... This is why she is so defensive. She knows how shitty she has treated her children. She knows that that bathroom smells like cat piss and shit and it's piled up to the fucking countertops. She knows that. She knows that her boys don't want to leave their bedroom and piss in their rooms. She knows that. So she has to jump on here and make herself look like a goddamn fool to try to convince everybody that the louder she says she's not abusing people means she isn't then no you're being dumb. more truthful it because you're so consumed you're so consumed in this did you know who said this did you know who did this you're so addicted to your dopamine rush that you invent shit up about people or you take old shit from very long time ago like three four years ago that really don't even mean anything that's really really small in the long run and you make it into something huge i can't believe and you do this false outrage i can't believe that you do something like that how dare she You know, you know, yeah, nobody called CPS on me. You liar. You liar. Except you liar. They do. there were people calling. She just wouldn't answer the door. You liar. You liar. I don't think people should be calling. You liar. Unless it's a situation like Shani, where you can see that the kids are being hurt. You're a liar. Imagine this is a mother. I know a mother's sticking up for her children. I know it's just so shocking. A mother's sick of being bullied and, and having people false report on her. I know it's just so horrible. I'm so such a horrible mother sticking up for my kids and getting sick of people freaking abusing the system. She for is. their own little internet kicks. Why people is it getting the kick out of false reporting <laughs> to CPS are literally human garbage? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. I think they are. And they keep freaking bringing up the, the kids. They keep bringing up the kids. You exploited your kids. Now you exploit my kids. My kids are just sick of being exploited by you guys. So you can keep saying I'm exploiting my kids while there's plenty of video evidence of you keep bringing up my kids. You keep bringing up my kids and me saying, please don't bring up my kids. But you keep doing it anyway. Aha, we're going to trigger Shannon. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm just going to keep saying what you're doing. I'm just going to keep saying what you're doing. That's okay. That's okay. You can go and say I'm exploited my son when my son was literally saying what you guys were doing. So that's exploitation. Not really. He was exposing you guys. Like these people trying to insert themselves in my life and trying to pretend that all this stuff is really like their business. And it's not, it's not, it's not. I don't bring my kids up ever on my channel, but yet you keep bringing them up. They were poor kids. You're poor kids. You poor kids. You keep bringing up my kids over and over again. My kids said, "Stop bringing my stop stop bringing me up." But yet you continue to do. So you don't even respect yeah, my child that when he sad? says, "You're 100 percent right." Like she she doesn't even give a damn about how these children, like her boys, are going to grow up. They're going to. This is why, like, they have to be so much happier and also confused because the, all they knew was trash everywhere all they knew was cat piss and shit that smell and going into like a house that smells as normal it's had to have been shocking for them you know being allowed to leave their bedroom to go pee because they feel comfortable enough to leave without running into their parents screaming at each other or making an OnlyFans video in the kitchen because Shani was cooking. I don't fucking know. It's gross. Don't talk to me. You don't even respect my child when he says that. That looks like my son right there? Really? That looks like my son. Uh -huh. Hey, son, come over here. Oh, wow. All right. <laughs> yeah, her son was explaining the impact it has on him, and yet you, you call him a liar for fuck's sakes? Exactly. Because they don't want to be caught in their lies. They don't want to be caught in it. They don't want people to know the freaking truth. They end up just calling me a liar because I'm telling the truth. Yeah. As soon as I finally reveal the truth, they call me a liar. So they're Again, I don't... Th okay, see, this is the fucked up part, too, because I don't think anybody was saying that he was lying. I think it's the fact that Shani, uh, yet again, had her child defend her again 
and they're not going to believe him because this is all he knows. Of course, he's going to say, no, I'm not being abused, either because he doesn't understand that he's being abused or he is lying because that's his mom. Yes, greasy hair again. Still hasn't showered since this video. <laughs> Well, they're lies still have a yep that's all they can do is call you a liar that's all they have that's all they have yeah fuck can you Jules. imagine fuck jewels i want nothing to do with the crazy There's psycho no way that she keeps trying like, to insert yeah, herself in my me. life Come like i want me. anything to do with her I, I, like i told her several times i want nothing to do with her but she keeps coming back so i let her be a mod for a while see what kind of crap she does we know what kind of crap she did and pulled shoot she pulled a lot of crap over that oh yeah i want nothing to do with her Oh, I shouldn't pull my children in this. I believe you guys have been pulling my children in this. Don't be saying I'm pulling my children into this when you were the guys who kept pulling my children in this by calling CPS and getting them freaking annoyed. You you brought my children in this, and you mad now that he's sticking up for himself. Fuck you. Fuck you. My son, I taught my son to stick up to himself to bullies, and he can. He can defend himself, and I'm proud that he can defend himself from straight up freaking adults who've tried everything in their power to ruin his life and my life and his brother's life and his father's life. You've done everything in your power to destroy our lives for, with this fake food? stupid outrage and this fake stupid concern right. and it's not working anymore. You're just gonna keep getting exposed. Jesus. Okay. You keep getting exposed and it's getting worse. It's getting worse as time goes on. The more time goes on, the more you get exposed. The more time's on, the more you get exposed. You think I'm gonna shut my child up? You keep telling me, shut your child up, shut your child up. Why do you want, why should I shut my child up? So you can go ahead and say she's being abusive by controlling her child? I see what's going on with I don't think so, man. Yeah, I'm continuing to talk about him. I can if I want to. He's my child, you stupid bitch. Is he your child? No. Why are you talking about him all the time? Why are you talking about him all the time? Mm-hmm. 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 Don't you worry about the lasagna. I'll eat it when I freaking want to. You didn't expose me. All you did was expose yourself that you do nothing but abuse children and you exploit children and you try to make someone into something they're not. You just got caught. You didn't expose nothing. You got caught red-handed of being a liar. Of being a liar. You know? That's your new excuse. You're exploiting your child. You exploit my child, motherfuckers. You exploit my children. Every day you're talking about my children like they're your business. Every day. And when I when my son finally said something, it's on me. Fuck you. Thank you, girl city. When you start talking about someone's children that crosses the line and something is wrong with you. Yeah. And these people expected me not to be upset over this. Just to shut my mouth. Right? Right, 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 right. Right? Right, right, I'm right, right. To right. To obvious lies. I don't think oh. so. Can't take her serious at all. You keep bringing us through this stuff. You keep traumatizing. Sorry, guys. I had to step away. My daughter was, like, crying and, like, yelling. It was just a really loud cry. But um, she just woke up and she had a bad dream. I feel bad. She's okay now. <laughs> and people you keep bringing up old stuff trying to make it seem like it's some kind of new and, and interesting thing when all you do is you take little snippets that are completely like that, that don't really matter but look negative and you take it out of con context you twist it and you distort it and you be like see this is how she really is i told you guys with a little fake little fake little fake voice on go fuck yourself South side shanny. Oh, there we go. Maybe it's time you take a little break. Why? Why? Because you're being exposed because we're making you look stupid. I ain't taking a break for making you look stupid. You keep talking. I'll keep making you look stupid, dear. Why don't you go fuck yourself? How about that? Don't be telling me what the fuck to do. She just wants fucking numbers. I ain't doing shit or any fucking favors for that cut. C U N T C U N T. Jules is a C U N T. Clip that, hold that down, and call me an awesome person for that. I really don't care. She just mad that she can't fuck my husband. That's all she about. She just mad she can't fuck my husband. Well, too bad. Too bad, Jules. You can't fuck my husband. Too bad, because he's really fucking good in bed. Too bad. Ew, what happened? Keep crying. Here. All this stuff.
She's so into my husband, she calls CPS on me. Yes, she's that crazy. I don't care if I don't look like classy right now. I'm mama fucking bear. I motherfucking piss. And mama bear is going to do what mama bear has to freaking do. You have a problem with that, go suck your dick. You want to come to me? You want to come to me? You started all this stuff. I'm just finishing it, man. It's done. It's over with. You know what, Blue? Go to hell. You started talking crap about my kids. I don't want nothing to do with you no more. I saw what you were saying in that other room. You think I'm deaf? You think I can't see nothing? I see it. I see it all. That's right, Adele. Mama Bear. All right. I have a mental aneurysm Make sure you guys my vote. child. Motherfucker, get the fuck off my channel. Go to hell, you evil piece of shit. I hate people like you. Okay, so now that we're doing a palate cleanser, before we get off of here, we're going to run over and take a look at Leticia. Do we want to look at one of her videos or do we want to look at start the Leticia documentary? It's up to you guys. Leticia terrifies you. Yeah, she terrifies a lot of us. She's crazy. All the way crazy. All right. Documentary. Documentary. Latiti one. Documentary. Let's do it. Let's do it. Donis, you did a great job with this. He's linked in the description. I think I need to put Latiti three on. videos all right let's start with number one that's that's exactly how adonis is linked in the description the adonis is in the description and we're gonna go ahead and start and like i said we'll just do this and continue um once a week and we'll continue with the documentaries and finish them together yay watch party here we go. And then I think Original Owl is going live at 6.15. So we'll go until like 6. And then I'll drop the link again in my chat for you guys to run over to Original Owl. Um, original. Let me double check the time. Oh, she's going at 7.15. Okay. Never mind. She must have changed it. Welcome back, friend. Adonis, I'm stealing your content. Don't hate me. I'll speed it up, though. Just a little bit. For another long watch. A long watch, but one that will entirely be worth it. Another walk through the Woo! mind of a maniac. Today, we are going to get ourselves nice and familiar with somebody many of you may have already been following. Love notes for TLC. Letitia Servin Collins, or as I like to call her, Letitty. Latini's crimes against humanity include the brutal, torturous, and malicious death of over 10 dogs, eight of them a litter of puppies that she literally put into a garbage bag and dropped into a deep freeze. She will admit to how she's abused her husband, her daughter, her family, and yet, friends, she is also the biggest no, I don't victim think so either. ever heard of. Also, she's a lot smarter than you. Oh, and also she meets I military now, him. dating I've been to promoting him. pregnant in a hope to trap them, or consequently... I think I've been promoting him and, like, not that he needs my promotion at all, but um, I've been promoting him for a while now since Rick introduced the Mayo series. Charge them with rape if they don't want to be her boy. Which was like over a year None ago. None of that is exaggerated or even speculative. This evil bitch will tell you these things. Basically, she's evil, hateable, and the internet has found out about her. Yep. Unlike some others, nice. she figured out how to turn off her comments early on. So she's not even aware of how many eyes are on her. She can't figure out why she suddenly has 600 new subscribers. What's Which Monday is night? It keeps the milk Today flowing. is Sunday, honey. So, what do we need to know about Latiti? Oh, Rick Silla, you're going on. Latiti was married in 2015 to a man we will just call Brandon. This poor dumb bastard sired a child with her, and they lived in Hot Springs, Arkansas together. The relationship was, well, let's just say for now, exciting. At the end of it, Leticia earned herself a whopping nine restraining orders from family members and had custodianship removed from her child when she refused to show up at the divorce hearing. I'll yep. let my fellow Latidiologist, Original Owl, fill you in on the record. 
Since Letitia's divorce in 2015, she's had over eight no contact orders placed against her. And she has been charged for crimes ranging from criminal trespassing to harassing communications over a dozen times. Every no contact order placed on her has been broken. Every bond that she has bailed out with has been revoked. If Letitia were a man, she'd have been put in jail and kept in there a long time ago. We will hear her explanations for all the charges later, over and over again. But long story short, none of it is her fault because she has freedom of speech. And in her mind, this includes the freedom to break court orders. Now, if you say anything about her, it's harassment, copyright infringement, and you're a demon whose karma is going to get them for daring to contradict this nice homeless lady. But she's totally allowed to attack you anytime she wants. Another thing you need to know about Latiti is she loves to eat. But as a homeless woman living in her car with no income, you would think that this would force her to make some concessions on her diet, right? No. Latiti eats out every day. Vegan food. Expensive vegan food. She eats better than most working people. And she will go on and on and on about how she deserves all this food and is disgusted by what's offered for free through her benefits. Because that's right, folks. I was abused and traumatized. I deserve this. The pattern is, whenever this spoiled private Catholic school whore has to question the validity of her own entitlement, the answer is always inevitably and literally, the world owes me this because my brother molested me. Letitia will brag somehow in every video about how she lost 150 pounds by going vegan. But guess what? You were living in a gym. I'm not surprised you dropped some weight. And if going vegan causes immediate drastic results, it's uh, not the veggies. It's that you are a disgusting pig drinking gravy and doing nothing involving meat, salt, or sugar in moderation. Oh, and speaking of Catholic school, that's her other schizophrenic trait, thinking that she has a full understanding of the nature of God and the universe. You will be threatened with your karma hundreds of times. She will explain in detail how God just tells her to do things. God is why she still has that car and is alive. Not that she's mildly fuckable and tricks men into paying for things. It's all God. Now, that's something a lot of schizos have in common. They believe they have a unifying theory of the universe involving a god who's keeping an eye on them directly, yet their life is somehow complete shit. Latiti, did it ever occur to you that your situation is your karma? No, no, because she's immune. She's perfect. A perfect hypocrite. Her ex-husband and his family are all pussies for calling the cops on her over words. But Letitia will be literally traumatized by any words that don't suit her. She will blame you for her suicide if you comment on her community tab. Letitia will scream how nobody should ever touch her for hours! But she has a very long and documented history of putting her hands on other people. And God, her intellectual superiority complex is the worst. She will go on and on Only and on if about it's how better, smarter, plutonic, than all the other people she meets. Just strictly platonic cuddling session. Despite not knowing the definition of any of the words she uses that contain more than three syllables. Now, Leticia is a lifetime mental patient. She takes frequent trips to the mental hospital. And as you will see when she gets confronted by the law, her first course of action every time is to announce that she's traumatized, a disabled citizen. And then she fakes a panic attack. And then she'll scream she needs an ambulance. It's ridiculous how her bouts of mental instability seem to just come and go. Almost if the real problem here is immaturity. Oh, and speaking of mental instability and immaturity, what do you get when you mix those? You get the suicide baiting world champion. I don't want to blow my own goddamn brains out for all the shit that I've lived through because I have uh, about 15 suicide attempts under my belt because I knew that this was coming. I knew that an attempted suicide was coming again. I just want to be dead. <laughs> no one understands. I just want somebody to kill me so badly. I'm homeless. I want to see my kid. I'm going through bouts of stress and depression and I have suicidal ideation. Might as well just take everything from me and just let me slice my wrist and just call it a day. Because I swear to God, you're going to see me hanging from a noose. Kiss my frozen dead ass when you find me one of these days after destroying the rest of my belongings and then attempting suicide later today. Today is my daughter's birthday. She's nine years old. And I'm gonna attempt my suicide again. I pray to God I do not wake up from this fucking suicide attempt because that's what I pray each and every fucking time, but it happens anyway, because I'm gonna commit suicide. And that's why I'm going to attempt suicide today. No, they're going to have to. And like I said, if not, I'll just kill myself. It's not okay. You leave me with scars and then I try to attempt suicide again. So anyway, I feel sorry that I will hurt everybody for trying to kill myself again. All I do is pray for death. I am just close, you know, to just really fuck everybody. I'm out. I just want to be dead. <laughs> no one understands. I just want somebody to kill me so badly. I just need to go slit my fucking wrist. 
I literally want to go park my car right now and just start carving at my fucking wrist. Thanks for starting up another suicide attempt. All I can think about is just like driving straight into fucking oncoming traffic on the fucking highway. And I just want to start cutting on my veins again. I sat there for two hours and I just got sick of it. I was like, fuck it. I'll just live with the guilt and kill myself afterwards. You can fucking eat my goddamn shit when I drive off of a fucking bridge or I'm found drowning in a fucking river because I'm just like, fuck it. I'm over this. We just hide away in shame and loathing, self-loathing and just slit our wrists and inevitably are, are, are found hanging at the local gym. I will literally scrape down this this fucking this scar right here. <clears throat> I will literally slice it open again if I am forced to have to work. I want to kill myself. <sighs> you know what I mean? Like I just want to kill myself. If this isn't a reason to want to fucking kill myself, I don't know what is. I am a threat to myself every day. I would just video myself right now as I end up taking a bunch of hydros and try to slit my wrists. I swear to God, I will make every fucking attempt after that to fucking kill myself. Dig around for my razor blade and start carving out the lines where I'm going to slice very firmly. And you just go ahead and offer me what I fucking need, or you end up getting this fucking video of me slicing my fucking wrists. My creation is, I'm going to bleed out right now. I want to, like, shove it. I do. Just straight and over help me fucking die help me fucking want to commit suicide you mean I just want to kill myself so badly so yeah next step some type of supply store for some rope so I can build myself a noose and then take care of this how it should be taken care of when I'm not tough enough to handle it one of these days and I'm just like so even the fact that I, I willingly have told people, yes, I'm suicidal. Oh, oh, this little fucking homeless girl killed herself. Yeah, thanks to you people. Well, what, this is what you wanted? For me to kill myself on live feed? But enough of me telling you why Leticia is the worst cow I've ever covered. It's now time to show you. We will join Leticia on July the 4th, 2021, as she sits in her car, homeless, watches fireworks, and thinks about how she is so much better than everybody else while lamenting her life, custody arrangement, and divorce. Letitia, at this point, has been recently released from a 90-day stay in county jail because when her husband left her, he left a bunch of his things in the house, including two guns. So Letitia decided the smart move would be to make a YouTube video with her holding the guns to her own head and claiming by leaving the guns there, her husband was trying to kill her. We'll hear her version of the events a lot, including how surprised she is she got arrested for it. Letitia also has a history of having to be involuntarily committed the time before this, it was because she was found walking around town butt naked, and when she was taken into the mental hospital, she immediately proceeded to scream about how she could see viruses and bacteria, try to wipe down the bathroom, and then when that didn't work, wipe her used menstrual pads all over the walls. Strap in and prepare to hate somebody like you've never hated anyone before. Child abuser, animal killer, and world-class wackaloo. Welcome. To Let's hit Sitting in my car, watching fireworks, bawling. Because I really want to take those fucking guns that I gave back and I really wish that I could blow my ex-husband's brains out. It's been five fucking years since I've seen my kid. I'm fucking pissed. I am no threat to anyone. I'm no threat to children and animals or humans. I don't try to hurt anybody. People hurt me first and then I react. Yeah, I never blew his fucking brains out. I made a video holding those guns and saying why if you filed for disability and said that I was mentally in unstable and whatnot, why would you leave loaded guns with me? Two loaded guns. They were show they were show guns and they weren't loaded. Everyone knows now that I'm not gonna do that shit. I'm not actually gonna blow his fucking brains out. 
but I want to so goddamn badly. But he's a fucking pussy. He'll always be a fucking pussy because he can't take words. I never physically assaulted that bitch. That's it. One day I hit him in the head with a saucepan and it bent the saucepan. That's assault. You know why? Because he fucked me in my fucking sleep. It sure does. I'm all fucked up because people used to touch me in my sleep. My brother licking my cooch and shit, waking me up. My dad touching me awake. Yeah. But inevitably, everybody will know the frequency. So it absolutely does. She does have 1.5 million. Um, yeah, 1,533,632 views on her channel. I know that I've got 1.2, but a lot of that is due to the shorts that I've posted covering different trials. Um, we're going to have to cover her community tab one day because it's a lot of fun. See of certain things and certain thoughts because ESP exists. Oh, yeah, I want to blow his fucking brains out. I want to blow my own goddamn brains out for all the shit that I've lived through. And then all this would be fucking over. But no, you want to drag it on until the child is 18 years old, till she finds me. And then you'll be fucked even harder in the ass, which you like. Yeah, you remember with the glove? I am flipping the fuck out right now. This shit should not happen to someone like me. I should not have to live in my fucking car. You stole my fucking kid. They cause reactions, Brandon Kelly. Yeah. As well as yourself, cause reactions for people to want to commit suicide. So here are my raw emotions. Take it or leave it. Mostly just take it and shove it up your fucking ass. I am so frightened right now, like of myself, of harming myself at this very moment. Do I want to go burn people's houses down? Oh, 100%. They have yeah, to be. Of course I do. When he's off gallivanting and having another family with this fat bitch cunt that I tried to contact, I am no danger to anybody but myself. <laughs> I let him stay with me. We'd known each other for a month. Communicated for a month. Talking. Discussing before we had ever gotten physical with one another. And I cared for him i thought I, I loved him from the moment i met him like i really did but obviously that wasn't love when he fucking left me five years ago got remarried to some other cunt and then has her raise my kid please wow. wash your vagina also please god damn like i'm not even fucking playing you're a fucking filthy disgusting whore i loved her so much i devoted every minute to her i'd be right there awake whenever she made a noise and that's why she wasn't very vocal you know it's really funny you say that Letty, because when my child was like two three and four years old did you guys see the name of that video the name of that video was an ode to brandon right which was her ex-husband wait can you guys hear me sorry so the name of that video was ode to brandon and we all know that there's another ode out there this is her shtick. If there was something she could do to get me to come running into the room, she would do it just as a game. Heck, I'm out of I'm one out of like five people on earth she knows. It's rather understandable she would want to play with me. When you say that you were such an overbearing psycho that you turned your child nonverbal, that's concerning. Yes. Whenever anything happened to her, I felt it's personally sickening hurt you know like because i'm an empath so i felt her emotions i didn't want her to ever cry or anything okay but then i got angry. so we got to keep that in mind too you guys remember how she was behaving when she gave birth to her baby you know anytime that baby would make a noise babies make a noise children make noise it's the way of life people okay anytime he would make a face any peep came out of that baby's mouth she would freak out. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't, don't, no, 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 no. And just hearing about this nest that she made. Oh, my God, it makes me sick. Sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. Sorry. In front of my ex-husband once, too. 
And yes. I shoved her over. She's trying to walk up in between us as we were arguing right before the divorce. This is what I mean when I say sometimes Letitia is a little bit too honest. Other people use the word oversharing. Yeah. Not only is what she just told us not acceptable under any circumstances, that is child abuse. 100%. She doesn't see any problem with saying it. She thinks her it's acceptable. shoving a toddler can be justified by the treatment she was getting from her ex-husband. So if people are mean to you, you can just beat up the baby. You know I'm going through an emotional people. All I needed was a little bit of help. You could have had people in place for that. You, you know, you talk about your faith down here in the South and being religious and reaching out and this and that. And then you rip shit away through the legal system because you don't know people on a personal level. And then you fuck their entire lives up because you don't know them. Who the fuck do you think you are? I can go on forever. That's why people are like, whoa, Leticia, you really know a lot. You're like very super hyper smart. And I'm like, no, apparently I'm not because I let people manipulate me emotionally. I actually am hyper smart. Anyway, fuck you, people. <laughs> because July 4th, 2022. <laughs> fucking trash like me don't deserve anything in the United States of America. Because when we speak out, nobody listens to begin with, and we're not worth it because we were mixed anyway. Yo, Lucidi, I ain't trying to hear that shit. I know way too many Mexicans, and all of them she take didn't teach care her of daughter their sign language. She didn't teach her daughter sign language. I, I don't believe that at all. They want their money so that they can do something Especially about after it. when but speaking with Cecilia, no, that just doesn't. Money because I'm like, I'm over it. I'm so stressed out. I don't want to deal with you people. So, like, take your money from other people to support me. I'm always getting banned from Facebook for speaking my mind. <laughs> it's not fair. All I said was that my ex-husband's wife, Adriana, um, was a fucking tramp. A homewrecking tramp. And that uh, she lives over at... And she loves dick. Sucking dick. She likes it so fucking much. She's Why are you kink shaming? Whore. Yeah. You know, Letitia, I hate to assume, but you seem a little jealous. And she likes to take it in the fucking ass. And all these are just my emotions toward the people who have. Oh, yeah, Red Rose. We just reviewed this the other day. From my child for the last five years. You don't remarry a man that promised his first wife they would be together forever. You don't keep people, nice women, from their children, okay? One's the breastfed their child. Unlike you, right? You filthy, fucking, disgusting, fat bitch. Yeah. And you think that I'm not gonna fucking start oh, finding cool, your Mikey. information and selling it online also? For real? Ejection. You spend your nights with a rapist. Yeah. Someone who used to rape their wife. And now since he's changed, oh no, he's a... No. He'll continually be a fucking pervert. I don't give a fuck if I incriminate myself. What are they going to do? Put me in jail? They're going to put me in jail? As a matter of fact, yes. <laughs> you should have learned that by now. The only reason you're not in prison for all this is because you're a woman and they keep putting you in the mental hospital instead. Which is true. Which is absolutely true. Know. They kept My post they continuously in Arkansas. In Arkansas specifically kept putting her in the mental ward. But thankfully... She had the balls to leave. And the other states were like, oh, hell no, we're not we're not putting up with this shit. <laughs> Stress had got to me. I'm a disabled citizen of the United States. Yeah, Latiti, I don't think it's going to work like that when you go to court because this video in itself proves you premeditated the entire thing. Fuck you, you fucking tramp fucking whore. I'm over you people keeping my tootsie away from me. Isn't she such a sweetheart? Fucking violent. Leaving loaded guns with someone is violent. They weren't loaded. That's sadistic. Guns don't shoot people. You think that it's okay to keep a child from a woman and she's not going to act out in such a way? Let me tell you. There's a few things I can do. 
a few crazy fucking things I could have done already. Because when you keep a child from a woman who has been seeking love, true love, pure love, her whole fucking true. life, and you take away the one gift she's been offered from the universe. <clears throat> scared for my life. Fucking hell. <laughs> Because even during that bout of fucking psychosis during the divorce and you were manipulating me the whole fucking time, fucking me, not <gasps> cool, bro. Not fucking cool. You will not succeed <laughs> trampling on other people. Not to Damas. You get that? You don't. People like that will turn around and devour you. <sighs> I feel better. I feel better. I needed to get these emotions out. I, I had so a really much better time. Now. I just <laughs> ovulated today, so I'm like super fucking horny too. Okay, so, so to I'm fully the convinced she has said this on many occasions. Whenever she gets super hung or hungry, <laughs> super horny, um, she gets angry. She freaks out. I mean, we we all heard the tale. JW, all he said to her was, they just don't want you, right? So I'm of the belief that maybe if she can't ovulate, she won't be crazy. Maybe. citizen so not a whole lot you can do because i know i mean i i do that to people i'll i'll draw out their worst fucking their weaknesses and i'll tell them i'm like you know what i know i know you could never live up to someone like me and i understand that physically intellectually sexually She's a female oh, yeah. praying mantis. <laughs> we'll never be more than just filthy fucking trash. Arcans and trash. Uncultured swine. Elizabeth. Uncultured swine. Hello. My Hello. Voted myself going. Uh, some of my clients know me as that on some of the sites that I've been on, Cuddle Comfort. I started professional cuddling back in February of 2021, and it's completely platonic. So if you'd like to cuddle up and have some caresses and maybe speak about whatever ails you, um, very communicative, and just let me know if you would like any of my assistance. Like I said, the base price is $80 an hour. There are different price ranges for virtual cuddles or the hell like is a virtual cuddle? We still have traveling. not figured out what the heck a virtual cuddle is yet. Done that before as well. Um, if you'd like a vivacious and bubbly, flirtatious girl, but completely platonic, of course. Of course. Just let me know. <laughs> a lot of my clients, I know it's a completely uh, discreet. And some of, some of my clients are married. But as long as everything stays, you know legitimate we're all good so just just uh, message me if you'd like my services i really enjoyed it it's it's allowed me to <laughs> this is her blowout sale her cl clearance 70 percent off 80 dollars an hour bye 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 <laughs> finance myself through traveling and i'm a very different and unique type of girl and a lot of people really enjoy and are are uplifted when they meet me and they realize my story and we can swap information uh, just let me know if you'd Maybe. like to spend some time with me, some quality time. But uh, so far, I I don't have dates or anything like that as, as long as it's oh, yeah. through the cuddle services. That's good because I'm not looking for a relationship at this a $40 point, so. joint. Um, and most of us cuddlers are not. We just need that physical comfort in order to help us. And this helps me also financially. So if you'd like my services, just let me know. I know I ramble on on my, some of my videos, but I've really some of the them cuddling. It's helped me to ease some of my stresses. And I'm sure I could help alleviate some of yours. 
just message me. Um, I know that my, my phone number is out there also in different areas, but it's 5012 if you'd like to message me directly. Um, I will travel around, and like I said, I don't really worry about every, anything because everything can be tracked and traced nowadays. Tracked and so traced! Just let me know if you'd like to spend time with me. $80 base price. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Most aggressive okay, cuddle so in your this life. this video is slightly <laughs> grainy, but this is my review of CuddleComfort.com. They said they stipulated on there that you weren't supposed to exchange information prior to making bookings. So I ended up um, having to exchange my information and I actually exposed quite a few sexual offenders, you know, sexual um, harassment, the people that were trying to sexually harass me through that, through communication prior. So right now I ended up getting removed from that site because of that. So if I went through so much harassment just using the site, then maybe I should get an attorney in order to regulate this because honestly, that's not all right. So this is my review of Cuddle Comfort and I would give it zero stars if that's what they do is they remove people that are actually good people and they leave all the sluts and the whores on there. And Satan's they leave all whores. These filthy mongrels that, that want to just fuck people and touch them and whatever, pay for their whatever. Um, so yeah, maybe I should get an attorney because I feel like I've been traumatized by this site and the way that it's uh, <clears throat> procedures and everything like that. And then they removed me from the site this morning because Ugh. some lady said, some 68 year old crazy woman obviously she was delusional if you could just look at her pictures she looked like she was just deranged and they allowed it that was grammy who was a moderator to to kick me off for communicating prior to my sessions and i explained to them i appealed it and i said you know what why would you close my account when in actuality, I'm going to leave reviews about this and I'm going to make sure to put a YouTube video out there in regards to this because cuddling oh, her famous Google reviews should be safe. So uh, I'm not sure what they're talking about. So cuddle comfort is obviously out of the question from now on. And um, if you want to cuddle me, just get a hold of me personally and, you know, message me somehow. Have a lovely day, and this is my review on Cuddle Comfort. Yes, I know I look really disheveled. I just woke up to all of this. I'm traveling, and then they give me these these uh, warnings in regards to trying to communicate. I said, I don't get notifications. I'm traveling, and your site was ran, ran poorly. So how am I supposed to get these notifications before it going in and out of these different areas? And you're going to warn me and then close my account immediately without even giving me an, a proper, uh, you know, explanation. That's, that's, that's just ridiculous. It is. It's absurd. So anyway, don't use Cuddle Comfort. It's, uh, it's got lots of perverts. It's got a lot of people that just want sex and that just want to grope you and, um, if you want to cuddle people professionally, I would suggest another site. Do not go to cuddlecomfort.com. And that's where I was on. That's the platform I was on. So, but I'm now cuddling, free, freelance cuddling. So if you freelance want to pay cuddling. Me, then we can discuss it. Just let me know. All you right, have a day. And you guys <laughs> think you can just enforce your will upon everybody. The dude that grabbed me, the, or, um, what's his name? Uh, what is it? bailiff the bailiff grabbed me when i said one word i was like okay and he grabbed me and someone ripped out my baby from my arms i was so horribly traumatized and they just grabbed me up like i was nothing and no one to anybody because i was so fat and overweight no one wanted to care about me no one wanted to care that i was going through these mental issues no they wanted to enforce their will upon lower life forms, and that's what they saw. You mean the people that work for the court were paid to enforce the will of the court? That the entire purpose of going to court is to get a judgment Shaking. and have that will enforced? No! That's what they presumed I was. And I said, you're not supposed to grab me like, like who the fuck, what kind of officer in Hot Springs, Arkansas? 
but they get away with so many fucked up things here. They get away with so many fucked up things in certain jurisdictions because they're still being ran by these crazy supremacist types. You sick fucks. And then all I ever get are messages from people that are from the military. These men that are retired Air Force and this and that. And I'm thinking, hmm, I don't know you. I don't know where this is coming from. Hmm. Are there inner ties between the government officials and this and that and the people that have given their all for them? Maybe they're sending these men to try to take advantage of me. And they think their men need to be satisfied. No, if their men need to be satisfied so badly, then maybe they should jerk themselves into fucking um, asphyxi asphyxiation, you know? Just kill yourself. That you guys are so fucking gross. And then all these military men that come out of the military and they just don't do anything to stop them. They go around and they they rape women they raped me and stuff like that in different instances and stuff or like they that lie and you have sex and they're like well technically you consented no i consented with someone that told me lies i consented with that form of person so then afterward and you find out who they truly are that was rape that was rape that's not okay because if they mistreat you after they get what they want that's rape. No, it's not. Uh, no, that's no, just being not. a douchebag. That's not rape. After I was assaulted by my ex-husband's family, when we started having issues, I told him, I was like, you need to fix this between your family because I feel like you just don't care or love me or anything like that. So a lot of, a long time went by. I was like, look, I, I know you don't love me. I know that this is not okay. Since you can't fix this between all of us, you can't fix it between me. You can't, like, I wasn't getting therapy or anything like that. I started cheating on him. You didn't do anything. You just held on to the baby and you just watched them beat me physically. So, anyway. Yes, drop the baby. With a few different people. And I still haven't seen my kid in five years. Because everyone said that I was the aggressor. You broke your vows. No, but I wasn't. I'll show you. Oh, I'll fucking show you aggressive, physical aggression. I will get back at those people tenfold. Like I said, Loretta, Brandy, Ron, as well as that other bitch cousin you have. I catch any of one of you. I will whoop the shit out of you. Make you struggle for your last breath. Ooh. But Titty, you are a 160 pound woman. Maybe you just need to shut the fuck up about beating people's asses. In fact, according to you, the only time you got into a fight, your ex-husband's family whooped you in front of the courthouse. I will strangle each and every one of you. Get near me now, and I will show and prove to you who Leticia truly is. Catch me outside. All right? Come near me, and I'm gonna beat your fucking ass. Like, I am literally going to stab your fucking gouge your eyes out with my own bare hands oh my god maybe we should do another restraining order i've had enough time wasted on you pieces of shit these threats are out there do something about it do something tell me put me in jail again tell me i'm doing something to disrupt disorderly conduct Disruption of the peace or some shit like that. That's what you got me on in the bailiff. Disorderly conduct and this and that. What? You're disorderly. That's disorderly conduct. You didn't listen to me. You didn't listen to a disabled citizen that was just not labeled as disabled yet. Oh, you can't disrespect me with words. Okay. Jail! 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 Now I realize it too from all these dicks I see in the gym that think they're so. <laughs> That's what you look like, a bunch of apes. <laughs> I'm gonna look at this girl. Oh, watch your dance. Watch your dance. <laughs> she <always dances. laughs> She's trying to get attention. <laughs> no, not at all. I'm trying to be myself in a place where I can be, where I'm allowed to be. And there's mirrors so I can watch myself be cute. 
Now, after that last segment, you might be noticing some strange color patterns. Don't worry, it will all be explained in good time. Though those of you who are keeping up with her in real time have probably already figured it out. So, Letitia here is about the worst ex-wife you could ever want. Completely insane, living in a car, being funded by the government to be mobile and sustained, and has nothing to do all day but get on YouTube and social media and trash you and your family. Letitia is absolutely convinced that due to being disabled, she is excluded from laws pertaining to terroristic threat or <clears throat> the very thing she's been to jail for, harassing communications. Remember, Letitty has had eight restraining orders placed on her, and she has violated every single one. Due to her being a woman, and nuts, only one time did this result in actual time being done in jail. I know. 36.43. Let me type that down. Okay. So, when we come back, um, ooh, okay, what was that? Kim Turner has subscribed. Yay. Thank you for subscribing. Okay. So, when we come back, we will continue with the watch party. I'm looking forward to this. I loved these and I'm excited to watch them. And um, for anybody who may not have seen them, definitely go and check them out. They are linked in the description below. The pinned comment, Original Owl is going live at 7.15. So go and show her some love. Um, but I'm excited to watch this with you guys and go over her community posts and kind of um, talk about some of the things that we went through while because later in the series, we're going to be cut. There's going to be covering uh, videos that um, we did together. So I'm excited to. Um, and we covered on live stream and watched it happen in real time. So I'm excited to reminisce, if you will, and um, appreciate Adonis's hard work on that series. Again, the pinned link is original. Owl. she'll be live. The cleavage is the emphasis is to emphasize her point. Yeah. <laughs> um, thank you all so much for hanging out with me. I had such a good time. I had a lot of laughs. Um, enjoyed Shani's mukbang for sure. That was a good time. You guys are amazing. Make sure to like the stream on your way out. And I will see you guys again tomorrow. And then on Thursday, um, we're going to be back on our regular schedule. So Mondays and Thursdays. And then we may have a member stream Saturday. Um, so members keep that in mind as well. Daniel, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate it. Yay. Original Owl. Yeah. She'll be live at 7 15. Love you guys. All. Oh, thank you, Katie. Yes. I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Um, start off the week strong, have a good week and I will see you guys tomorrow.